really, it saved lives. Okay, so how is KT positioned related to ITIL and to the ITIL processes? Yeah, you know, ITIL, we all know ITIL, I assume you all know ITIL. The ITIL uh, is a, a good practice framework for IT service management organization. And ITIL is very good in to organize what needs to be done in which order to manage incidents and to manage problems. So it's very clear that you have to register each incident, that you have, have to categorize and prioritize each incident and based on the categorization and the priority of the incident. Uh, maybe you are able to do an incident match and make a match of an existing incident and to provide the solution as quickly as possible. Um, but how, and I, the ITIL incident management process is also describing that you have to do a further investigation and analysis. But what exactly and how you should do that further investigation and analysis, that's where ITIL fails, that's where ITIL stops how you do the further investigation, how you do a further diagnosis and come up with, this, with a, a conclusion. ITIL is not giving you very much information about these steps. The way you do the investigation and analysis when you go to the official ITIL books, it, it is described in only a couple of sentences in a certain paragraph in the incident management chapter in the service operation book similar story for problem management. How you investigate and how, what you should do and how you should do it to come up with a structural root cause and come up with a structural solution, the problem management process is not giving you much information about that. And that is where KT comes into the picture. It clearly describes you in a very rational, in very rational steps by going through different various types of processes, it tells you exactly how you can analyze incidents, how you can analyze problems, how you can further investigate and do the further diagnosis of incidents and problems and even risks. And KT is very, very strong in that. It's not difficult, it's not complicated, it's not uh, science, no, it's a very simple, rational processes that you have to go through uh, in logical steps to be able to be successful. The adoption model. Um, how to become successful with KT and with ITIL? You know, the final result that you want to achieve is depending on two important aspects. The final result of implementation of ITIL processes, for example, of the, of the uh, incident management process or the problem management process, for example. The final result, when you want to be successful in the implementing a good accepted and a good quality incident management process is depending on two important factors. The quality of the process, of course, is important, uh, but you can have developed the most sophisticated, gold-plated incident and problem management process you can find in the world if it is not accepted and adopted by the people who, are, who have to do the work, who are going to apply the processes, then the final result is still going to be very poor. So also um, applying incident management and problem management process according ITIL and according Cap uh, the Captain Traco methodology, it's about working together with a whole team of people, think about what is it that you have to do, in which order, work that out in a team, develop these ITIL IT service management processes together with the key stakeholders to prevent it's going to be your ITIL process and make sure that it is going to be our IT service management process. When it's going to be our IT service management and KT resolution processes, then it is adopted and adapted and accepted at a very high level. 
and then the end result is much better uh, uh, compared to the situation that you as an individual developed this process and pushed it down the throat of the people who have to do the work. Then you have a high, low level of acceptance, a low level of adoption, and then the final result is very poor. So when you look to the KT processes too, make sure that you work together, facilitate these processes with key players in your organization, and make sure that people start to recognize the advantages of it. The relevance of the KT increases when the organization becomes more complex. 